welcome to the Zoo Comes to You. My name is Brittany and I'm one of the hoofstock keepers here at the Central Florida Zoo. My name is Nikki and I'm one of the keepers here as well. I'm Amanda, I'm one of the keepers as well and I'll be taking all your questions. So we're here today with PJ. He is our greater one-horned rhino. They are a species found in northern India up into Nepal and they do something that we've kind of just started doing. So a lot of people have been hearing the word social distancing. For us, it seems very strange, it feels weird. For him, it's actually completely normal. So these guys, unlike the white rhinos that live in large herds, these guys are completely solitary, meaning they live all on their own, and it's how they actually prefer it most of the time. So here at the zoo, PJ has all of this space all to himself as his little bachelor pad. Right now, he's focusing in. They have some really interesting things about their adaptations in that Although he can't see very well, PJ has an amazing sense of hearing. So as he's turning around, he's actually using those ears as big satellite dishes, listening to everything going on around him. And then once he's sure all is safe and good, he's gonna come back over to enjoy some of his lunch right now. In total, he eats about 100 to 120 pounds of food here at the zoo. A mix of things like tree branches, leaves, hay, specially designed rhino grain, and then some extra special stuff like his produce that has carrots, sweet potatoes, bananas, apples, all sorts of fun stuff for him. Just absolutely no meat. Despite his size, they're an herbivore. Just eating all of that plant material. He is really special here to us. He's been here since he was about two and a half years old. He's eight and a half right now, about to turn nine. For rhino years, that would put him at about almost full grown. They typically mature around eight to 10 years old. So as big as he looks, he may get just a little bit bigger. At our last weigh-in, he was close to about 4,000 pounds, about two tons, all on his own. So he's a pretty big boy. Now, like I said, I talked a little bit about his adaptations in his hearing, but he has some really cool adaptations in his mouth. So along with his lip you see him using there, which is a semi-prehensile lip he's gonna use to reach up and grab the leaves from up above him, He's also got that flat bottom lip for grazing grass along the ground. So unlike some rhinos that are a little more specialized to one type of food or the other, PJ can actually do both. He also has some really big front teeth. That's not something you would see in all rhino species. Unlike the African species, the black rhino and the white rhino that use their horns for territory and defense, he's actually got those big teeth inside of there. They can be up to three inches long. He's got a really big gap for a fancy scientific word that is his diastema, is that gap between his front teeth there. All the way back in the back, he's got about 20 or so molars just for chewing up all of that produce. We've got some questions coming awesome. in. So Nora would like to know when his birthday is. His birthday is actually June 1st. And uh, what is his horn made out of? Awesome, yeah, so we get a lot of questions about the horn. A lot of people think of different materials when they look at it. Sometimes you might think of wood, you might think of stone, or even sometimes bone, but it's actually keratin. It's the same material that makes up things like your hair, your fingernails, the scales on a snake. All of that keratin grows up from a plate there on his face. So as it grows, just like we may get a haircut or trim our nails, he actually rubs his horn on things to kind of shape it and form it. So how it looks is actually completely up to him. Uh, Ava wants to know how often does he sleep? So just getting out of what would kind of be his teenage years, not as much as he used to, but he sleeps most of the night. He definitely takes some rhino naps throughout the day. They are semi-aquatic, so sometimes that nap might be in a mud puddle. Sometimes it's in his pool, which is a big favorite for him. So what are you feeding him? Awesome, so yeah, I talked about it a little bit. This is his grain. So this is just a compressed hay-based grain. Because they do eat from the ground as well as from up in the trees, they get a lot of different nutrition from that. So this is sort of like rhino granola. It has all of that extra stuff that they may get throughout the day, kind of in a compressed form. So even if he wasn't feeling like eating bales upon bales of hay, we always know he's getting the nutrition that he needs. We have lots of questions. Uh, why does he have the hair on his ears? He's kind of special. It's actually not something we see in all rhinos, not even just in specific species. He's special. He grew about around two and a half, three years old. He started having that hair come in. There's all sorts of theories about why certain rhinos have that. So some of them, they think it might help protect from insect bites or from 
uh, cold, it may help their hearing, it may help dust stay out, kind of like our eyebrows do, but because not everyone has it, they're not really sure. Uh, how fast can you run? Ooh, we get this question a lot. It's typically about at top speed, typically gonna be around 30 to 35 miles per hour. However, that's gonna burn a lot of energy. Being this big and eating as much food as he eats, that would be in an extreme situation that he would do that kind of running. How did we get him? So he actually came from another AZA facility when he was about the age where he would fully wean from mom and go start to find his own space is when we had the space here for him. So he moved in with us to have all of his own territory. Uh, Nikki would like to know if he likes candy. Unfortunately not. Although he does kind of prefer the sweeter thing. So things like apples, bananas, and sweet potatoes are definitely high up there on his list. Uh, Soria wants to know how old can they get? Yeah, that's an awesome question. So typically they're gonna get into their, in the wild at least, into their 20s, possibly into their mid 30s. In managed care, we do see them get older. So possibly into their 40s, there have been some records of rhino species having individuals that get up into their early 50s. How old is he and how big can they get? Yeah, so he is eight and a half years old right now. So he's just hitting full maturity, just hitting full grown, but they can easily get up to 5,000 to 5,500 pounds. Why do they charge? Why do they charge? That's an excellent question. It actually goes back to their senses. Looking at them, his eyes are so much smaller than the rest of his body. He doesn't have great eyesight, and that's true for all individuals in rhinos. It's not just EJ. So instead of charging necessarily as an aggressive move, it's more of just a way to scare off anything that he might see from a distance. So if he can't hear it or smell it, he needs to get up close kind of quickly to see what it is. And if it's something he's trying to scare away, it's an opportunity to do that. Uh, someone asked right now, what is he eating? It might have been about produce. Yeah, so like I said, we have some produce with us. We have things like carrots, sweet potatoes, some apples. Um, he can get different things like melons as well throughout the day. We try to change it up. Every day is a little bit different. Uh, why is he wrinkly? That is an excellent question. I love this question. So they're often times called armored rhinos as well. When he walks around, you may see he has ripples or kind of edges in his skin. And that's all it is. It's just folds in his skin, but it all has to do with those big teeth I talked about. Because they use those for defense, they don't use their horn, they actually bite when they're trying to defend themselves against other rhinos. So using those teeth, they have ring, or large wrinkles around their neck, they have them down their sides, and they even have a perfect little crease for their tail to fit inside of, so that if they get bit, all of those places are kind of protected by that extra skin. So we're actually gonna get finished up here, let PJ eat the rest of his lunch, We'll see you again tomorrow around 2 p.m.